up. Are you a Taurus? And he said, and I said yes. Well, right. Okay. Thank you ever so kindly. I sort of psychically picked up on that your mother's alive, and she's like, oh, it's alive. Your dad's not alive, right? And um, something about working on some kind of red engine or something. Anything to do with working? Red engine? Yeah. No, I'm not going to. Like an engine? Yeah. Anything to do with an engine? When he was alive. When he was alive? Okay, so it was him. Did he have glasses? No. Okay, what about this guy with white hair and glasses? Uh, and he wears a hat. I have no clue. It could be somebody else. Maybe. Maybe he's with your grandpa? Mm -hmm. And um, are you sure you don't have little brothers or sons? No, sisters. I just see a bunch of kids. Well, I, got, well, I got five kids. Don't tell me nothing. Oh, well, that's probably what's going on. You have to like kids. Yeah. <laughs> You have like all these boys. You have a bunch of boys. Yep. That's what I'm picking up. Uh, uh, yeah. All I of them. Twin boy, I just have twin boys. All of them. See? I'm picking up things. <laughs> so you have all these boys. I thought they were brothers. They were so young. I hope I see a little kid. Well, I don't know. So that you don't tell me, I tell you. That's cheating. You don't tell okay. me nothing. You can say yes or no unless I ask you what about it. Uh, that's how it works. No cheating. <laughs> And so, yeah, so I guess your dad's with your grandpa. That's what I guess. I because he has glasses and white hair, thick hair. You're never the ball. <laughs> Good for you. And um, you uh, have one more to But, yeah, but uh, I still want to read you. Hold on. Okay, let's just finish this up because we're recording. Okay, um, you have a bad cousin. I don't know. My bad cousin? Yeah. Is he bad? Yeah. This is what I'm, I'm just saying what I'm seeing and hearing. Yeah. You know, that's all I can do. It's like looking at a fucking cloud and saying what I'm seeing. I can't change the cloud. I can't fucking do it. What's just happening now? We can't postpone things yeah. like that. We're just floating in the fucking air. That's what's happening. Because, like, so yeah. Going, like, Bad cousin, he has a mustache. Yeah. I'm right, and he's got black hair and mustache. He's a bad cousin. Uh, something like forward someone's signature, something's bordering, bordering someone's signature. I think your dad's telling you this. You look a little bit like your dad. Yeah. Y'all look really pretty in the eyes and the mouth. Your mouth and teeth are pretty, like Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Y'all look like Kevin Bacon, or he does. And, but he looks yeah, like I don't he, that look, Okay, whatever. You know, movie star. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody's bordering somebody's signature, right? You know about that? Yeah, okay, I'm um, trying to. And, um, um, somebody named Keith. Uh, warning me about Keith. I don't know. I don't know then. Um, I lost it just a minute. I guess I lost it. I don't know if I'm coming back to it. Um, but, um, your sister. I'm just kind of, I, I pick up on one by one. Like, if you have, like, four sisters and I say one sister, I pick up on one. And then if I start picking up the others, I go one by one. You know what I mean? That's how it, that's how it is. And no cheating. <laughs> or it, it makes me, uh, it makes it dumb. It makes it, like, like my imagination, my thoughts are that. It makes me, that, you know what I mean? Can't tell if it's your imagination or just like you're Until you get confirmation. Until you start thinking things are more greedy and stuff. <laughs> no tell no one. Okay. Other people, I only can do it for other people. It's only, oh, it's for other people. It's never just for myself ever. 
No reason for the other person. I'm just the telephone line. But that's just how it works, you know, isn't it weird? Like when your kids have, they were half. And one of them's got Bucky. Yep. And he's, he thinks he's grown up. Yep. And uh, he, um, anyways, I'll tell you later. <laughs> like, because he acts like he's gangster and he thinks he's grown up and, you know, he wants to do all the grown up things that they do. And uh, he's got Bucky and he wears like a hat. And um, some name Christopher or something like that. I was right about all the stuff he has about Kate and I think. And I never met you before, ever. So that's cool. Pretty yeah. Um and uh, you've been fishing and boating, whatever. And um um I don't know, um Um Uh you do construction or something and you get your your hands. I'm doing it. I guess I'm doing it. Okay, and um, I think I'm doing it. And you, like, you're you're probably not from here. You're like far away, like New York and stuff or something. Okay. Uh, and then um, have you ever been in New York or something like that? Okay. I don't know. Um, but uh, you wear hats, green paint, and a painting suit, a white painting suit. I'm a welder. Like a jumper, jump up suit or something. I'm just seeing you in that. I got the word welder too. You don't have to tell me. I got the word welder. And, you know, because I'm a little shy and hesitant to say what I'm seeing because it sounds retarded. You know, it sounds ridiculous. But you just got to say see and figure it out if it's right. Red one. Okay. Um, you know, what's your favorite color red? Purple. It's purple. Mine's lavender and beige. Mm -hmm. Most tourists is like lime green and hot pink or something like that. But that's cool. I mean, it's not good. What's your favorite? What's your. Well, no, I'm picking it up from you. It doesn't work on everybody, but I can try. Well, do you have a little brother? Are you the little brother? Like, you're the littlest, like, you're, if you have a little brother? You can't see him? Okay, that's, I think, no, I guess I'm picking up off that you have a little brother. That looks just like you or something? What? I don't know either yet. It's okay. There's no need to talk about. But, um. Okay, so what I saw is your girlfriend, she's like kind of boring and quiet, and she has like long hair down to the ground, and uh, she's really pretty, and her eyes almost look like they're blue, but you see them are hazel, and she has like thick ass long eyelashes, and um, she, you had a son with her, and um, and you said all three, I don't know, that was right, <laughs> just trying to catch up on what I did. This is my fucking husband. <laughs> Yeah, because you're my tour size and all I'm married to all the tourists. <laughs> Hollywood ain't ready. Yes, every tourist has uh, the Hollywood everything. They have like supermodel acting naturally, but they don't like being in the spotlight. But you do. Let's look at your birth chart. Let's do your birth chart. So I'm gonna do your second reading right here. Go to your birth chart too, because I do have them there. I have them really calculated. And we will roast you and your girlfriend if you have her birthday. But we don't say we don't say birthdays on camera, but off camera. <laughs> You can, yeah, I'll rest you. You gonna write down your you gonna write down your birthday right here? Oh, I'll do your second reading. I'll have a pen. <laughs> I'll forget one. Hold on. Oh, where am I? Record. What's that all up? What month day here? Tell me what are you doing? Uh, I like Xander and Lily's one. No, no, no. Month. Uh, April 30th, 1993. What time? What, when you're born, like AM or PM? And it has to be exact. Uh, four, four thirty in the morning. No, totally not. No. Why? Uh, 
Maybe it could be in but just everyone else's. Every, everyone else's all the time. Different, but when I talk this about whole world is different. We all have the <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> and that's even more interesting to hear anything about that. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Now it's fine. Okay, you ready? This is just your astrology chart, because you have one of my favorite questions. I was just telling myself today, I wanted to do something like this, and guess what? Here you are. Okay, you are a Taurus. It's my favorite healthy sign. And you're Virgo rising. Virgo rising? Are you kidding me? Virgo rising. That's how you come off as people. That's where you, that, that's your persona, Virgo right? Rising. Yeah, you're Virgo rising. And then, okay, that's how you come off, right? That's how you'll look. You'll look charming, you'll be appetizing, you'll be like, wow, pure mind, and if you see maybe imperfections that come off as that, you're coming off as that. Mm -hmm. That's all that is for a one. Then your moon signs in Capricorn. That means you grew up faster. That's your mom. And But your fourth house is in Sagittarius, which means y'all traveled. And, mm -hmm. Is that true? No, you have all these signs in your thing, but your main thing, if anybody asks you what your star sign is, you should be like Taurus, Virgo, Rising, Moon, and Capricorn. Those three are the main ones, but there's several of them. This tells you a little story. If I'm not telling it right, just let me know. But this is what I'm interpreting. It's just me doing this kind of reading. But Virgo, Rising is my favorite because I read it more psychically for some reason. And it all goes back to how deep it was in my spiritual, psychic. Do you really want to be such a major believer in this? Like, you just are your trust. You might see them as the pain, but it's real. That is so different to me. I'm nothing like that because that is a right sign of Virgo. You won't like Pisces. You won't even like your polarity like that. I, you know what I'm saying? But you keep on attracting to you better people, people who will buy anything from you because of the sun plus moon and Pisces. That doesn't mean I'm right or wrong. That's just what I say about it. Talk on. Isn't that right? Yeah. Good. And you're secretly kind of like a Pisces. You're secretly your shadow self. You're secretly into the spiritual shit and want to be psychic. Mm -hmm. Secretly. It's just something that you don't like in other people. Because you are actually Virgo rising, which means you're a good skeptic. And that means you're fucking good at, um, I'm, I bet you're good at criticizing people. Yeah. And, and, and knowing perfect, you know what you, because you have a perfect mind, but sometimes you might come off as somebody you can't even cuss around because you feel like, eh, this, you know, that's inappropriate or something like yeah. that. Maybe, because you get away with that, you know, that little cloud. But I know you're cool. You're a Taurus. You say what you want. But, uh, your, your, your third house is Scorpio. You'll say dark things. You'll speak dark things. That's your hands. Awesome. They're, they're manipulative. They, they're manipulative. You touch somebody, they're like dead. Third what house is Scorpio. Scorpio. That's so fucking awesome. Your eighth house is an Aries. This is you now. This is your house of death. This is your special house here. Also, it's your secrets. It's an Aries. It's who you are. You, you survive in the despair. And your Lilith. Okay, your Lilith is in Taurus. But people don't see you as a beast. And, um, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Cause, but you do that because this is in your chart. It could be a side effect. It doesn't mean you have to be this kind of person. But it might give you thoughts of, um, you know, because your financial security, like you'll be proud and arrogant of your Taurus financial security self and your beauty too. You'll be proud of your relationships and the value that you put in them, them and have of others. I mean, who doesn't have that value? But you have a rich value. But people don't want to see you do the wrong thing as a Taurus. Like, Taurus is my favorite sign, no doubt about it. Y'all, I'm married to all y'all, but like, this Lilith and Taurus is the side of you people do not want to see that you rebel against others with. It's in Taurus. So that's your own ego. But uh, so they won't want you to see you as a narcissist. So don't do that combat. <laughs> you could because your fucking shit's in your ego. It's a, your Lilith is in your ego. That's okay. I mean, love yourself all you want. Okay. And that's great too. Love others all. <laughs> Everything love. I don't give a fuck. Love or hate. I don't care. No, but this does. <laughs> this helps you. Your Venus is in Gemini, which means you're a player and a liar, and you have multiple uh, partners, and you want to treat them all the same. And uh, but one you want to be with, and you you keep, but you get you just want uh, samples. Of everybody, your ninth house is in Taurus. That's your Venus. You want to learn everything from everyone, and then you ditch, ditch them like air a little mermaid, and move on to this Cancer sign, Eric. That. Gives you food and everything and doesn't need you to talk or anything because they're shallow. <laughs> but anyways, that's my analysis of that place and that's so fine because uh, your Venus is in a place that means your relationships. This is how you're in relationships. This is what you attract and all this bullshit. I just can go on and on and be boring. Yeah, it's so awesome. But it's in Gemini and it's in like your siblings and it means your neighbors. So you can be going out with them. <laughs> so, and then your Saturn's in Pisces. 
Okay, this is how. This is who you can be. Her. You hate Pisces, but this is who you in this life is or becoming. And it's a psychic. You are psychic, but you have restrictions on it. And you also can. You you need to learn this really badly because we want you to learn this. This is Saturn. Saturn is an authority figure in, in spa- inside of you in our space. Listen to this. Um, your Saturn's in, this is, okay, okay, your Saturn's in the, I, I mean, I keep on crashing different subjects and ending in, uh, your Saturn, I just, what's important, the one I hate in you, okay, it's six, every day routine is hard for me, like, your health is, um, usually wrong, too, something's wrong with you, but I think you're, like, super healthy right now, I don't know, is that, I, to me, what do you think, do you have, like, unusual allergies and stuff, or nothing like that? Okay, every day, like day to day. Like you can't, you can't be, you can't be a day to day routine for you either. You can't be stagnant in day to day routine, but you, you must like that because you're a Taurus. You don't like change. But then again, not me. Oh, that's a Taurus. People don't like a color. They don't like being in spotlight. But they have every talent that it takes to be on TV. Everything, like Stevie Nicks and stuff. Or well, not, she's a Gemini. Uh, no, like this. Some singers that are Taurus or whatever. They're really great. But, but you know, like. Like, they're suicidal, and they're delusional druggies. That's seventh house of Pisces. But your Saturn is also giving you um, giving you a, a deal. It can give you this power, and it can take it away from you. But it can get... Pisces. I'm the Pisces, so we want to see you be compassionate to others, but we want to see that if you don't learn your lesson, you'll get a disease. You'll get a disease if you don't have compassion for others and for give others. And you'll learn forgiveness through your dad because your dad, he loved you, showed you unconditional love, but he, um, I'm not doing this psychically, I'm not doing that at all, but like, guess what, I just saw him tonight, your dad, right, but this has nothing to do with your, well, this might have something to do with your dad, even in psychically, if, if you would, but I didn't meet him in spirit, because I did, and I can go back to him, but anyways, it means your dad didn't want to take responsibility for you, he rather you drugs, but he showed you unconditional love anyways, and he was always in spiritual. Is that true about him, or, or he was a spiritual person, but he ended up dying? Oh, I mean, I do see your grandma. Did you use the one with the guy earlier? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw your grandpa with your dad, but we're not doing that right now. But we can be psychic too. We can combine. But um, but uh, I mean, I mean, he can tell me information. And I won't go by astrology because that could be bullshit. I would rather go by what he would say. But I'm just so saying that that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You seen your dad? I saw him when you were in the store, but he was supposed to be there. He was supposed to be there. You can see anything. You have millions of eyes, I guess. I mean, we're, we're just all connected. We're, and his energy never leaves. <laughs> his energy just never dies. Changes forms and stuff is what everyone else says. But anyways, astrology is different from being psychic. But okay, so your Saturn's in um, the sixth house of data routine being a perfectionist. And then you would have anxiety in your face because of that. Because your first your first house, we good skin there, but your first house is Virgo. Because that's those, you know, they're, they never, they're all the same sign together, you know. It would interrupt that or whatever. Okay, your eighth house in Aries. This is how you're gonna die, man. You spend too this much. How I'm gonna die. Yeah, man. It, it, not in psychically, but only astrologically. So don't go by whatever the fuck I'm saying, astrologically, unless this kind of pertains to you. I mean, this could give you the option. I mean, give you, I mean, this has side effects, and if it relates to you, you might have the side effect. To, in my perspective of what I think about the chart, okay? So Does not. Okay. Um. Yeah, your eighth house in Aries. So you spend too much money, and you might. Get in a car wreck or head on collision or something will fucking hit you random in the head, bitch, because it's Aries. It'll be fast. Yeah, so many dark ages. Okay, I'll go. You don't want you to do that. I mean, I don't. Hope not. But you'll spend too much money because you're spending other people's money. That's something so unfair about yourself. And in this experience, it's fair and darkness. When you're in your dark space, you'll be like, oh my god, I'm gonna be a fucking idiot. I'm gonna find out who I am. I'm gonna find out who I am in the darkness. You could be. I'm not psychic. This is, I mean, I am psychic, but I'm not doing it psychically. No, I can tell you psycho later, or during. This is just astrology. This has nothing to do with you. Yeah, people pay people to do this bullshit for no reason. Which is no offense. They're better than me. They have more knowledge. And if you can do that every day, that would be fine. Because y'all know more than I do. I'm just preschooler. Anyways, this is my perspective. Anyways, um, your fourth episode, okay. 
Your fourth house is in Sagittarius, so you're disgusting at home. And then your tenth house is in Gemini, which means this is your public eye. You have multiple personalities. That's how you come in the public eye. That's how you'll be remembered. That's how you want to be remembered. A good communicator, good with hands, and good kisser, and good looking lips and lungs. Whatever, in the in the public eye. And you want your relationships to be in the public eye with you, too. And whoever you work with or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, like um, because your Venus is in Gemini, and your tenth house is in uh, the... Mid heaven, but your your Venus is not in the sun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just said too much. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Your Mars is in Aries. That means that's how you get mad really quick. And, uh, you know, your stuff explodes and you're still forgetting and stuff like that. And then the harder matter of things, like you're too impatient. And you have to inter- go exercising to fall asleep better. So sure Okay, your ninth house is in Taurus, which means you never like to sleep alone. You always bring your gift with you, and you're, you're really quick to you. You have to sleep there. And then we wake up. When you, when you wake up, I don't know. When you wake up, you become very sexual and really desirable, and that's when people now sex with you when you wake up. But you might not even awake. It's not like when you go to bed. When you go to bed, everything's like, let's eat something and go to bed. But when you wake up, it's like morning sex from everybody because your vibe is Scorpio. That would be when you wake up. And your third house, is, it, you transform people when you wake up. And you can be jealous when you wake up for all you want. You're controlling when you wake up or something. And But when you go to sleep, you're all stable and shit. And it's just about, you got to sleep with me. I don't need to be separate. I, I, I don't, I don't want to be alone at night. That's your philosophy. Your, your value in relationships and your food. Whatever. Okay. Your 12th house is in Virgo. Wow. That's your spirit. That's how, you, that's your spirit. Um, it's like cool. Wow. That's the right. You're readable probably. Okay, I don't know why, but that's so cool. Um, anyways, your 11th house is cancer. You're everybody's mother friend. Everyone who's your friend is like your home. You bring something new to home. I don't really know. <laughs> like, everyone thinks you're their mom. <laughs> yeah. The way you communicate is how you heal other people and how you think and stuff. Because it's in Gemini. Because it's in Gemini. Huh? And you're, you're not in the wrong. It's okay. You're the best storyteller and writer. You could be, if you want to. Okay? You could be the best writer. Oh, you're the best publisher. If you're a Virgo... What? Me? I've been saying negative things about it. There's positive things about it, but I just haven't said them yet. <laughs> and I don't have to. We're going to be done with it now. But, uh... You always... You always... These three questions are major questions, okay? What would you do if an angel... Or a spirit... An angel... A spirit or demon, okay? What would you do if... God damn, oh, no, no, don't park here, don't park here. You gotta, you gotta park. Why? God damn, this dude's fucking crazy right here. Like, I don't really gonna come out with a fucking mask. No, he's not. Yeah, I'm talking about right You now. are not even. I'm not even sure it's like, That's not relevant. Okay, what would you do if an angel tried to give you a ball of light? Would you take it, or would you, what would you do? What? An angel tried to give you a ball of light. I'd take it. Okay, what would you do if, it, uh, if a demon said, I can make you powerful? What would you do? What would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? We're trying to. I don't have a place to park. Okay, we're going to try to do that one day. It's just my freaking stuff so foggy back there. So I have to be pointing at the building. Okay, so I actually fit here. It's going to be okay. Okay, so what would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? What would you do? wouldn't care to be a demon most tourists in their life, but they're like, I'll go to hell. No, there's such a thing as that, probably. Hopefully not. <laughs> but, um, um, anyways, that's all. I just want to know. What about a spirit? Give me a box. Should I take it all? You take all of it from the demon and angel and all this. You could be cursed and stuff. What would you want to do that? Oh, no way. No, this, this, hap- this is what happened to me, and I took nothing. I told them no, but, you know, I've been teaching them Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Charlie and Chocolate Factory, I made it. Mm-hmm. Where that dude at the end, he didn't, he wasn't a school one. He took he, he wasn't the one that took anything from the Charlie Factory. He didn't want it because he gave it away or whatever. Because he didn't take anything because he was greedy. That's a good way to do it, you know? You don't want to mess with demons at all. You let them be part of the light always, you know what I mean? Because the light is is love and Jesus will protect you because he is love and all that. Question, you ready? Um, okay, one, two, three. Okay, if there was a spirit or angel or demon that came to you, um... This is the question, what would you need situations, okay? If a spirit came to you, which one do you want me to uh, talk about first? A spirit or an angel or a demon? What would you want to talk about? I thought there were only three questions. 
there are three questions, but I want to um, ask you them and you in whatever order you want me to ask. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Okay, if it okay if uh, Angel uh, had a ball of light in front of you, what would you do? Like it looked like it wanted you to take it. What would you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. What would you do if uh, a spirit had a box in its hand and says, "Take it, take it, go ahead, take it." What would you do? Like in that kind of evil, well, a desperate man or like desperate to give it to you. I'd probably take it. You would fuck. It could be a curse that you just took on, right? Mm -hmm. And then what would you do if a demon said, "I can make you powerful"? Oh well, my life's already over, so why not take it? No, but if he gives you um, headaches and stuff, like no, this situation individual, you know, individual. No, like, I get it, but I'm just separate. Saying. What would you do about the demon that asked you or told you, I can make you powerful? What would you do? I guess I'd have a verbal debate and find out what kind of power. Yes, that's that's, that's an answer. I would like to go like more long ways with that. What would you negotiate with that? Because you never know. And have you ever heard like the Bible bullshit? It says that sometimes you can um, command weather Bible bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. And then... Okay, so all I have to say this, I'm not a firm believer in God. He's not a firm believer in God. Sorry. To well, our own. Yeah. Just cool. saying. So okay. it's kind of hard for me to, you know, do so that. Haven't gotten tuned with it. Oh, you've never seen Angel Wings? <laughs> I have. <laughs> yes, I have seen Angel Wings. Yes, I have. 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 I have witnesses too. I have witnesses, and I know other people who have seen okay. angels too. Other people have seen angels. We have seen it all. Happy Fourth of July. Fourth of July. <laughs> Not July. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Hi. Are we on camera? <laughs> okay. Maybe. So. All right, buddy. I'm gonna go over and look up the text. Text decimal code. Okay. This is just your birth chart, and I'm gonna just tell it to you. You're not gonna be on camera right now. I can just, you know, whatever. Just your voice. Okay. Like you're Pisces, right? Your moon is in Virgo. That's the polarity of Pisces. Like they're staring at each other and doing different things. It's going to be different results. Your moon sign is your mind and your emotions. It's your inner self. It's inside you. Know? Not the sun sign. The sun sign's your ego and your willpower, and it's, you know, the dog you. Know? And then your moon sign is how your mother treats you. So she, this means that your mother taught you day-to-day -day routines and chores, and she's very critical of you. And you're obviously critical even of yourself on the inside. And your moon sign in Virgo means that you like to do day-to-day -day routines. And if you are outside that day-to-day -day routines, you flip out like a psycho, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and um, because it helps you get into it. And you can also like you write things down, or you want to uh, you want. You're, you want to express, your your emotions are expressed kind of, um, you have to analyze them before you start expressing them, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break down this Wednesday, and, you know, something like that, like, schedule an appointment with your emotions or something kind of thing, because it's, like, you're pure emotional hearted or something, I don't know, whatever, okay, your, um, your Mercury's in Pisces, so you understand the language of heaven, you can speak to spirits and all this stuff, and you just put effort into it, it's not something that nobody can stuff. I know by experience, okay, and I got recordings. Okay, your Venus is in Aries, which means this is what you're looking for in relationships, this is how you are in relationships. This means that you're kind of alone because you're just by yourself because, like, you always run into these people, like, they're just a flash of pain in your life. Like, they just come and go, come and go really fast in a, in, in a relationship. And it's hard to have a stable one because it's just like, well, and you're left with yourself being selfish or something. But you still love yourself more than anybody else or something like that, kind of, or whatever. So you know how to love artists, kind of. And you know who you are, and you're you're a warrior with people like you. You you don't like yeah. the slow people because they're boring. You know? yeah. yeah, you want to look for somebody who's quick and fast and going to live now or never kind of thing, and like be repulsive and shit. Yeah. Okay, your Mars is in Cancer. This is your means you have the weakest power of all the zodiac. Cancer, Mars and Cancer. So your sexual expression, and it's how you get mad at other people. And um, so. You have weak willpower, you don't like winning snacks and sweets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and you rather just cuddle than have sex with anyone. Of course, everyone at home, to your home, and, and get, um, whatever. Something like that. Okay, your Jupiter is in Libra, which means you're lucky at being beautiful and you're lucky at relationships. You can point at anybody and be like, I want to marry you, you want to go marry me? Okay, let's do that. It's just, <laughs> you're very lucky with all that balance and meeting the needs of others. And, and um, your Saturn's in Aquarius, which means your dad was either like prejudice and stuff and told you not to be a weirdo ever don't wear that don't even be weird i mean don't ever okay don't talk to any weirdos uh you know be racist and stuff like me but you're you'll eventually you'll be like uh no i'm gonna uh you know be an uptight asshole like him or you're gonna and you go to Slovenia, or you're gonna be the person who treats everyone equally you know all that bullshit and be your own unique person that gives you the opportunity to have a whole bunch of knowledge and also gives you the opportunity to be an astrologer. You can learn lessons through learning and teaching astrology, but it'll also restrict you on that and make you all fucked up and it also got to get up to here and then go back to here and up here. And, so you're, and also, you have a, a 
crumbled ego. So to try to make up a healthy ego, like you know, you can't be like I've streamed ego to Selena, but it like makes you like go of that. But I can't because I'm not restricted stricken back. <laughs> I have the my moon my moon signs in Aquarius. So that's how my mother's teaching. So um your Pluto's and your Lilith and Pisces people don't want to see you act like a compassionate spiritual freak, but you do anyways, blah 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 blah. I don't know, and you, you like such here, you like like traveling and expansion and philosophy. You already learned all about yeah, being philosophy. You, you already know all about being a Gemini, communities, talking about fast, doing things with your hands and transportation and, and being informative. Now it's time to be the Sagittarius, unearned luck, clumsy idiot and stuff like that. And that'll be your point of life of like, philosophy and learning to do the hard stuff. I don't know, something like that. Good. That was not good. <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, it should have gotten the houses because if it was in the house, then it wouldn't tell you about how you go to foster care and be taken care of other by other people. Yeah. But it's I didn't see the placement in there yet. <laughs> so um, sorry. Okay, this is her turn. She doesn't even know. Okay, Guys, you got a pretty face. I thought you were leaving because you're Capricorn rising. And that's your face, and that's how you react to it right away. And so people think you come off as very serious, and it's about your reputation or something, and your career, like face value, like right away. And you might, you know, and um, like authority figure. And your moon is an Aquarius, which makes you a really friendly ghost. It makes your mu yeah, yeah. This either makes your I know you just got off the phone with your mom, y'all having a nice conversation. This means that you want. This means you either have a mom who is your friend or somebody who's racist, prejudiced, and tells you not to be a weirdo. Be like, do not wear tattoos. Do not talk to weirdo people. But then you figure out, no, mom, I'm going to be myself and my own unique self, and I'm going to rebel, and I'm going to treat everyone equally mm -hmm. and not leave anybody out. Right. And she would either teach you that type of criticism and stuff. No, I'm doing this. But I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, then... Um, you have the moon Aquarius, you know. So he do you he think he knows what he's talking about? He dictates everybody's fucking life. So you think your so you think your mom was like that or not? <laughs> or nope, not at all. Okay, so all loving people. Good. Okay, your fourth house is in Taurus, which means you have a stable. You're stable at home and food, and you like your relationships be at home and stuff like that. So and the then dog and the tin dropped off. I wasn't fucking that way. You know, I was dropping a dog off. And then. And then your Lilith is an Aquarius and all this other stuff. And your Virgo, yeah. But while you're here, the and cops are coming. Your Saturn, your Saturn's in Libra, which is... I'm trespass from my property. This is my property. It doesn't matter. You can't get into my car and go fix it. While you're here, they're going to go ahead and trespass you. They're on their way, you fucking... Trespass me here while I show them the dent in my fucking car again. The and the video that you kicked. I have it. I have it on camera that you kicked my car. You kicked it's my car. It is. Bye. Racist and pathetic. I don't worry about it. He has Capricorn rising too, 10th house Scorpio, which means he's going to be well known as being jealous, uh, controlling, manipulative, and um, sex, death, and transformation. And the public's eye, he's going to be remembered as that, just like you. <laughs> okay. Maybe because you might be chaotic in that. Uh -huh. And at your job. And in your fourth house, when you come home, it's all stable and like about food and relationships. Come, you want to bring all your relationships home. And also, um, your ninth house is in Libra, which means you don't like to sleep alone. You have to go to bed with your partner. Uh, my partner deceased, so oh, okay. I just moved here. I don't know nobody here, so. And your eighth house is in Virgo, so you'll live a happily old age death. And then your, and then your when you wake up, your third house is in Aries, which means you might wake up all selfish and mad and be at war or something, because Aries, <laughs> like caveman, and how to survive. And I don't know. And um. Your Venus is in Virgo, which means you're critical of your partners or whatever, and you just want to be with someone day to day. You don't care how they look or if they're rich or not. You just want to be with them every day or something that you can stay in every day or something, which everyone probably is like that. Your Mars is in Pisces or Cancer, so that's how you. So your question is, and it's how you get mad and, and your willpower is, and so you rather cuddle than stuff like that. And yeah, family, I don't know. You just stick up your family. I don't know. Your Saturn's in Libra, which means you have lucky relationships, like, it'll, it'll, it'll give it to you and take it away from you, like, you'll be married, like, all the time or something like that. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, like, it give you opportunity to be married or I'll take it away from you. Yeah. It's kind of like in your dad, he was kind of like the fake Libra uh, treating you or something, like, he he was a hypocrite or and fake and treated you like an inanimate object and just you're just beautiful and that's all it, it was and, you know what I mean, like, 
I gotta go. Like, if you get fed, did you do your homework? I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I have no clue. Just, I don't know. That's what your Saturn is. You have, and you might have challenges with your kidneys or something. Oh, that's awesome. And why? What? That's awesome. You can have kidney problems. No, 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 no. How? <laughs> Well, your lungs, is, okay, your, your North Nod is in Gemini, which means, um... My sister. Oh, well, that's, you learn everything from Geminis, and you you'll, you want to add that to your personality, doesn't mean you want to be one, but it means that you are lack this, and you came here to be this purpose, like, use your hands, be a public speaker, talk, communicate, be fast, be a transportation person, I don't know, just be everything Gemini, because it's what you lack, and you'll learn everything you want to learn everything here, or whatever, something like that, I don't know. Because you already learned about traveling and higher learning expansion and philosophy and gambling with life and being happy-go-lucky. That's what you teach the world, and now you want to learn from the world Gemini stuff. Lungs, lips, hands, <laughs> just whatever Gemini rules. Oh, wow. I ain't gonna lie about my, my partner wanting to Sagittarius. <laughs> and what were they? A Scorpio? <laughs> mm -hmm. Were they a Scorpio? No, my 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 fiance who who died, he was a Sagittarius. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you like Sagittarius? <laughs> no, not really, cause he's an asshole. Oh, they can be possessive and jealous and um, gross and unhygienic and happy go lucky and <clears throat> look all the time. <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> all Sagittarius. Yes. They are. Inch worms, <laughs> and they are so conceited. But you They're, can you, you can just call the Sagittarius is convinced. <laughs> you know, very I mean? conceited. Yeah, and then and happy go lucky, like unearned luck, and oh. just gross, like unhygienic, like a dumb dog that's never been potty trained. It's like, oops, I'm sorry, oops, I'm sorry, I did it. I'm Britney Spears, and I'm gonna stay disgusting. Like, oops, I'm sorry, but that doesn't cut it. You're you didn't progress. You know, I mean, you didn't freaking develop any character that's beyond your disgusting sufferings of other people like in front of you like and consider it that's what it is right no emotional uh uh contact no freaking affection you yep. are Sagittarius yep. ew right annoying you think you're funny because it's really annoying yep. everybody who's serious because <laughs> like who's responsible and respectful mm -hmm. that's what you're disappointing those people because you're a disgusting idiot <laughs> Sagittarius you know what I mean my polar okay, your Capricorn, so your polarity of, of you see everyone is different from your cancer signs. But secretly, your shadow self hat is like a cancer sign, so you're like a really mothering, nursing person, and a family person, but you see everybody else is like, ew, you're slow, you're, you don't talk too much, you're a cancer, you're unhygienic too, because they're unhygienic. <laughs> and I don't know, gypsies or something, but like, that's what you see as ever different from you, but you keep on attracting these kind of people. Does that make sense? Yeah. And they're not sacrificing. <laughs> Most cancer signs. Yeah. Just because I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if I had a damn cancer <laughs> The whole. Well, your Mars is in cancer too, so that's how you act when you get mad or something. <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm a. Your Lilith is in a cat Aquarius, so you have multiple orgasms. <laughs> it says what? Your Lilith is an Aquarius, so you have multiple orgasms. Plus, you're also a Leo, which they rule the reproduction system, which means they regenerate really quick and they want to go again and again and again and all that bullshit. They, they're the sperm symbol. And you know what I mean? They they rule the heart and they rule, like, um, party pleasures. Yeah. <laughs> Duh, what did you just think happened? Like, ridiculous psycho. Like, you know how that is. People are oh, stupid. Yeah. This whole world treats yeah. you like hell and you still want to love them and yeah. all this bullshit. And you're the Leo, though, so you probably know, people know that about you, because <laughs> they treat you, they love you, and you're like, no, I'm going to kill because <laughs> Leo is a threatening sign, and they're very dramatic, and um, they cause drama. <laughs> me, personally, yeah, I did, back in my younger days, but now, now, if I know you ain't meant to be my life, and I'm not You kick everybody you. out, just like, like Scorpios, yeah. like, they're dead to everyone, they're yeah. like unforgiving pieces of shit. <laughs> I forgive, but I don't forget. Well, okay. and then resentment, I go, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Okay, cool. I have no clue. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Let's see how you heal other people because you're like, you know, dressed in that. So, in your career. Oh, you say a healer? Yeah, how you heal people. Oh, this man. is, this is, no. I'm an awesome healer. I know, right? We'll see why and we'll see what it's under. 
It's uh, Aquarius. You're everybody's friend, true friend. They come to you for that, and they come to you for information and knowledge. Mm -hmm. They come through you to under, for understanding and being a weirdo and outcast, and they come to you to fit in and feel like they're not alone with uh, the world of not being equal or something, you know what I mean? And like the moon and Aquarius, you already have like persistent friendly, so they come for you, you get comfort, they come, for, they get comfort, they find comfort in you for that, they come to you for that kind of feeling. Mental um, knowledge and higher self, You're, they come to you for your higher self. And um, uh, your crown's a Gemini, that's how you heal yourself, so like communicating and your whole purpose and all of that, your sister. <laughs> Like, Cause she went to the same thing it's like it was her. perfect, and then it's like, no, I have to re heal that. <laughs> uh, her kids, siblings and uh -huh. uh, neighbors, her kids' father died, and bam, my, my fiance died. So we kind of went through the same thing, and she did teach me to heal, you know. So she did teach me that. There you go. What a really coincidence. What's Gemini rule? Siblings and neighbors and stuff like that, too. What's your sign? I'm a Pisces in the cusp of Aquarius, Gemini, cusp cancer rising, moon in Aquarius. And all kinds of bullshit. <laughs> My crayons and Gemini too. We both have to heal our own yeah. language and mind and stuff. And it's like when we think we perfectly can communicate, nope, something happens where we have speech development spells or we trip over words or something ridiculous. Like I am, because I have Gemini because it's rising, which makes me talk really fast. It makes me trip over my words. Because in the rising sign, that's your first value. Your rising sign is Capricorn, stable, serious, you know, beautiful, Capricorn goat looking, you know? Because <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what I think I, is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. I just, when I moved here, first person I started talking to was a female. A fucking crybaby ass, emotional ass fucking Capricorn. Oh, it's a Capricorn. Capricorns are usually not that emotional. That usually sounds like a cancer, but, or, or oh, but that's cool. My, my baby, she's a Capricorn too, my child. Mm -hmm. But the girl I was going with, she's a fucking Capricorn. She's a fucking crybaby, emotional. Capricorns are the, uh, Carolyn, Carolyn from uh, Poltergeist. She's Capricorn. Not cool. Never again. I'm um, understand. understand. They're very stubborn, Capricorns. Like, yep. they're more stubborn than Tauruses. Yeah, like, they just, they're just irrationally stubborn. Like, they're really good at school, but it's like they're not good socially. They're not, they don't understand, like, people, like humans. They're not human. They're, like, good at school, and they think that they're, like, educational, and they're, like, better than everybody. Yep. And they're like, I pride my shoes and my Rolex watches in my car. That's all I care about is money. <laughs> <laughs> it's Capricorn yeah. and Taurus and Virgo, but mostly Capricorn. And, um... I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Do you live out here? Um. There's a fight over there. I'm going to just sit here. See that fight over there? We're having a fight. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. It's cold at the place.
hole. That looks like fun. Don't come over here. Oh yeah. 